Hi guys, uh, today we take up a new question in uh, the topic of ship stability and in particular we will be discussing uh, how to achieve a desired trim on a vessel. Uh, this question has been taken from the book MV Hinship. Uh, so this is a MV Hinship problem. If you don't have access to MV Hinship or the hydrostatic tables or the stability particulars that you need with it, I'll show you how to get the values from it anyway. All right, so let's get started. Today's question is that MV Hinship or motor vessel Hinship is in condition number eight and uh, has to discharge 300 tons prior to sailing. Calculate the position with respect to aft perpendicular from where this weight is to be discharged to enable her to sail trimmed 1.5 meters by stern and you also have to find the sailing drafts forward and aft all right so you have to go into the mv and shape trim and stability particulars to get the value so from hydrostatic tables you will get the displacement the initial displacement of the vessel in condition number eight so we go into the hydrostatic tables and you can see here it's condition number eight here so on top it says it's condition number eight uh, the displacement is given as 16133 and while you are on this page you should also get the LCG or the longitudinal center of gravity which is 70.045 this is a value that we'll be using later so please make a note of it this is the initial displacement and initial longitudinal center of gravity all right so we'll first go back into the calculation and you can see here the initial displacement is 16133 tons as we got from the table then uh, the question says we have to discharge 300 tons so when we say we have to discharge that means uh, 300 tons will be subtracted from the initial displacement so the final displacement after the discharging is over will be 15833 tons that is 16133 minus 300 tons for a displacement of 15833 tons you have to go back into the hydrostatic tables to obtain the hydrostatic draft i'll show you how to do that so you go back and what you do is you go into the hydrostatic tables and you can see here that uh, the hydrostatic particulars are provided in this table here so we have the hydrostatic tables and this is all provided for a sea water density or salt water density of specific gravity 1.025 all right so from here we will see where exactly our displacement lies so our displacement is 15833 which lies between 15693 and 16161 which means it lies between the hydrostatic draft of 7.6 and 7.8 so we'll note down these values and we'll go back into the calculation so you can see here 15833 lie between 7.6 and 7.8 so for a displacement of 15833 how do we find the hydrostatic draft well you can see here that for a dif difference of 16161 minus 15693 for a displacement difference of 468 the difference in the draft is 0 0.2 meter that is 7.8 minus 7.6 so for a difference of 15833 minus 15693 that is for a difference of 140 tons what will be the change in the draft so you will multiply this value by here and this will go in the denominator section which will result in this formula here and what you get is a change in the draft will be by 0 0.06 meters so when the displacement will change from 15693 and it will be 15833 the draft will change from 7.6 to 7.6 plus 0 0.06 that will be the change in the draft as calculated before and so the hydrostatic draft will be 7.66 meters so for a displacement of 15833 the, the hydrostatic draft will be 7.66 meters 
So what you can then do is using the particular hydrostatic draft of 7.66, you can go back to the hydrostatic tables and you know that 7.66 will lie between 7.6 and 7.8. So note down the values of MCTC, that is moment to change trim by one centimeter, LCB, which is forward of the aft perpendicular, LCB stands for longitudinal center of buoyancy, and you also note down the LCF, which is the forward of aft perpendicular, where LCF stands for longitudinal center of rotation. All right, note down both the values for 7.6 and 7.8, then go back into the calculations, and that's what I have written here. You can see the MCTC, LCB, and LCF values have been copied from the hydrostatic tables for a draft of both 7.6 and 7.8. But what you need is for a draft of 7.66. So you have to do some interpolation. So just like the previous interpolation, find out the difference in the draft between 7.8 and 7.6, which is 0 0.20. For a difference of draft of 0 0.20, what is the difference in MCTC? 194.6 minus 191.8. The difference is 2.8. So if the draft will change by 0 0.06, this is 7.66 minus 7.60. So if the draft will change from 7.6 to 7.8, 7.66, what will be the change in MCTC? Alright, and again you do a cross multiplication, which results in this equation here and which results in a change in MCTC by 0 0.84. Now as you go from 7.6 to 7.8, you see that the MCTC is increasing. So as the draft increases, MCTC also increases. So you will take this correction and add it to the MCTC of 7.6 meters of draft and you will get the MCTC for 7.66 meters draft. This is for 7.66 meters. You will do a similar interpolation for LCB and LCF as well. So again, you can see for a change in the draft of 0 0.2 meters, change in LCB 0 0.049. So you will multiply this by here and this will come in the denominator section which results in this equation here. So the change in the LCB will be 0 0.0147. But in the case of LCB, the LCB is decreasing as you your draft is increasing. So as your draft is increasing from 7.6 to 7.8, your LCB is decreasing from 72.69 to 72.641. Therefore, as your draft will change from 7.6 to 7.66, your LCB should also decrease. And therefore, I have subtracted this correction to the LCB of 7.6 meters. And you get your LCB for 7.66 meters. Similar is the case for LCF. You will do a similar interpolation and you will get a correction. This correction will also be subtracted because you can see the LCF value is decreasing as the draft is increasing. So as your draft increases from 7.6 to 7.66 meters, your LCB should be decreasing. Once you've got these values, put it in the formula here where total trim T equals LCB minus LCG divided by MCTC by 100 multiplied by the ship's displacement. Now in the question here, it says that you want to get a desired draft of 1.5 meters by stern. So that is your desired draft. So your total draft or total trim will be desired trim, sorry, not draft, desired trim. So your total or desired trim in this case is 1.5 meters, which you want when you're sailing out. So this T here becomes 1.5. And then you have the rest of the formula. Now you will take MCTC multiplied by 100 here because you know LCB, you know displacement, you know MCTC, but you don't know LCG. So you have to find out the vessel's LCG. This is the LCG after the loading operation has finished or discharging operation has finished. The initial LCG that we saw was for the initial condition which we will be using later on. So once you put in the values, find out LCB minus LCG. It's simply a matter of putting the values that you've calculated above into the formula. LCB value you know, so you will get your LCG value as 70.8503. Now this is your LCG after your, for your desired trim. 
So once you've got your LCG, go back to the original displacement of 16133. This is from condition number 8. 70.05045 is also from condition number 8. Remember, I told you to note down that value initially at the very beginning. So when the displacement 16133, the original LCG was 70.05. Multiply these two and you will get the longitudinal moment. Then you discharged the weight of 300 tons from a distance that we don't know yet. This is unknown, so it's x and you will multiply it, you will get 300x. Now because this is being discharged, the longitudinal moment will be reduced or rather subtracted from one another. So the final displacement after the discharging has taken place is 15833. But to find the final LCG, you have to divide the total longitudinal moment by the displacement. So this comes from here and you get the final LCG as final LCG is 70.8503 from above. So your LCG is also 70.8503 as you calculated above. So this will be the LCG after the discharging operation has finished. But where do you discharge the cargo from is the value x. All right, that will be the LCG of the cargo. So where do you discharge the cargo from? So you simply put, take this value here, bring this value here. So what you will do is, you will not bring that value down, so it's not uh, division. So take this value here, so you get the equation 300x and then 11303 5.985 minus the subtract uh, the multiplication of 15833 by 70.8503 because in the equation you will also be taking it on the other side so 300x equals 8263.1851 and x equals 27.544 meters forward of the aft perpendicular so this is where you will discharge the cargo from that will be the lcg of the cargo so position from where the weight of 300 tons should be discharged to achieve the desired trim is 27.544 meters forward of the aft perpendicular. All right. Finally, you also have to find the sailing drafts forward and aft as asked in the question. To do that, you have to use the formula trim aft or change in the trim aft equals total trim multiplied by LCF divided by LBP. LBP is length between perpendiculars. And how do you find that out? You can go back to the tables. In the tables here in the initial few pages you can find out the length between perpendicular as 143.16 meters this is in meters all right this is where you find it out so you go back put the value of the lcf that you found out initially above and put the value of the lbp from the table the total trim as you know is 1.5 meters this is the desired trim total desired trim when sailing and you will find out the change in trim aft should be by 0.743 meters. Then to find out the change in trim forward, all you have to do is subtract the trim change in trim aft from the total trim. So the total, total desired trim was 1.5 meters and the change in the aft trim is 7.743 meters. So you will get change in the trim forward by 7.757 meters. All right, now as you know that your vessel here has to discharge a cargo. This is the aft part, this is the forward part. All right, and your vessel will be discharging a cargo from say somewhere here, which is about 27 meters from the aft perpendicular, right? 27.54. What you also have to see is your LCB value with respect to LCG value. So your LCB value is how much? So you have to go back and see. LCB value was 72.6753. 72.6753. And your final LCG value was 70.8503 meters. Right? Right? So your LCB and LCG. Now if I take a different color point just to show it to you. So your LCB value from the aft perpendicular is 72 meters, 72.67 meters. This is where your LCB value, I'm just exaggerating it, 
this is not the total length it should be less than half so I should not be I'll try to confuse here so this will be about just about half a meter so this is your LCB value is 72.67 right and your LCG value will be somewhere over here just behind LCB because uh, this will be your LCG so it will be 70.85 now since your center of buoyancy is forward your forward part of the vessel will be coming out and your center of gravity is aft or center of buoyancy so your aft part of the vessel will be acting downwards and center of buoyancy is forward so it will be coming upwards therefore the correction that you get change in the trim aft because the aft trim should be increasing you will add this here all right so this this change in the trim you will add it here and because your forward part should be coming out of this because of the center of buoyancy is forward you will take this and you will subtract here because once you found out your change in trim aft and change in trim forward you also have to know why should you be subtracting it or adding it that will depend on the position of the center of buoyancy with respect to the center of gravity and that is why you will add the aft correction and get the final draft and subtract the forward correction to get the final draft forward this 7.66 is the hydrostatic draft this is the hydrostatic draft from the hydrostatic draft you will be subtracting and adding the corrections to get the final drafts all right so i hope you understood the solution let me know if you have any doubts in the comment section i'll be happy to answer it as soon as possible so keep watching the videos guys and keep learning and uh, let me know what you think about these videos whether they are helpful for your exams or not